so I need this project to be quick, cheap and simple. I'm going to buy a few parts on Amazon, use some scrap wood and metal I got kicking about, this field monitor and my trusty GoPro 10. I marked out a simple shape for the feet on a sheet of plywood. Tidied up the edges on a sander. Marked out and cut the legs. So the wooden part of the frame is now all cut out, it's time to quickly put it together. Drilled and screwed the feet to the legs. Checking that it's all square. Glued and screwed the blocks that hold the cross brace straight. Checking that it fits tightly but can still move. And now the blocks for the metal arm that hold the camera. So that's the basic frame complete. I've fitted these thumb wheels on it so I can knock the thing down flat. I've only got a tiny workshop, I'll need to pack it away when I'm not using it. The next part is to make the clamp that means I can adjust the arm that holds the camera at the bottom. I fitted a rubber pad to the back of the slot that holds the camera arm. I then screwed the block across the front of the slot, checking that the fit was loose. This block acts as a clamp, pressing the metal bar tightly against the rubber pad. Drilled some holes in the metal bar that acts as a mount for the monitor. Drilling some metal plates that will act as supports for this bar. Pop riveted these parts in place. The cold shoe mount for the monitor was then screwed in place. This is the hinge that holds the camera and light bar. Adjusted for just the right amount of friction. I made a rubber washer to hold the camera and light bar tightly against the hinge. fitted the GoPro mount and then the GoPro fitted the bracket that holds the field monitor in place microphone, power and HDMI velcro straps keep the cabling neat the GoPro can only focus of a distance about 30 centimeters. Any closer, the image becomes blurred. You either have to change the existing lens or add an extra one to the front. When this one here is fitted to the front, you can then focus at a much shorter distance. That can be changed as you change the different lens attachments that fit on the holder. I bought some small rig lights that are adjustable in both brightness and temperature. They were then mounted on the camera and light bar. Power it all up and see if it works.